On the surface, Hong Kong is still the bustling metropolis of Asia, but changes within school walls are causing anxiety among many veteran teachers. Some, someone would say that uh, nowadays uh, being, being a teacher in Hong Kong is a, quite a risky, <laughs> risky profession or risky job. Adrian is a teacher who asked that we use just his first name out of concern he may face consequences for stating his opinion. Adrian teaches liberal studies classes that aim to develop critical thinking. The name of the course changed to Citizenship and Social Development after the 2020 implementation of Beijing's national security law. In the past, we, we can very freely uh, make comments on, on different policies and invite students to uh, give their, their opinions on, on, on those policies. But now, uh, now we are afraid that uh, may some criticism uh, on the policies may be accused of uh, uh, endangering national security or inciting hatred uh, towards the government. So uh, we, we, do, we do have worries and, and so do the students. Hong Kong's education secretary defends national security education in primary and secondary schools. In a statement carried by China's state-run Xinhua News Agency, the secretary said the curriculum gives students a clear understanding of the inseparable relationship between the country and Hong Kong, the one country, two systems governance model, and the law's role in Hong Kong's prosperity and development. Karen, a Chinese studies teacher, also asked that VOA use only her first name, fearing consequences for speaking out. Karen says even though she's attended workshops on new teaching guidelines, she still is not sure what might get her into trouble. The teaching atmosphere in this school has changed. This change in atmosphere affects our own autonomy, our teaching autonomy. The national security law does not clearly tell you what you cannot do. Adrian says some of his colleagues have quit teaching and moved abroad. He says students who are not affluent or from mainland China are still in Hong Kong, while many wealthier families are considering a move abroad. And this is happening not just in secondary schools. But now we see a trend that students are much younger. Some of them are considering going abroad when they are in primary schools because they can relocate with the family. A survey by the Hong Kong Federation of Education Workers found 90 percent of kindergartens have fewer students this school year. The reasons include the pandemic, immigration, and a drop in the birth rate. Some parents at this immigration fair want their children to leave, but it's tough for 21-year-old Ken Chan. Since I was born and raised in Hong Kong for over 20 years and all my close friends are here, all of these are my concerns. There's still some space for me to, uh, to deliver the, some message uh, that uh, some values to the to the young generation, so I I I'm eager to stay for some more years, uh, so that I can do something for for Hong Kong. A desire Adrian hopes younger teachers will keep in mind as they decide whether to stay or leave Hong Kong. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News.